Yeah, all we can do right now is just sit and wait and uh, give some time to our one minutes to kind of give us a little bit of heads up of what what this market really wants to do. And we may not very get get the kind of information we want. Again, the market has light volume and you can see short side, if it's going to continue selling, it continues to just drip, 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 drip. And it's a very tough market to really trade in in either direction right now. As on a basically on a dime, we could all of a sudden see this price back up here. Euro dollar somewhere in this area, pound dollar somewhere up in this area, which if it do, it, this is really what we like to see, and that is a market that sets up right in here as a follow the leader. This is our short to medium term time frames. And again, right now, ignore your one hour and your four hours, okay? Just, ignore, just pay attention to what's happening on your really short term to medium term. And they're all kind of heading south. So what we would like to see, if anything, this price all of a sudden make a retracement up into, into this area. And that would give us the, the appetizer entry that we look for. And that's why a very slow market like this, don't want to get suckered in, especially those who have been taught to, to trade breakouts. You don't want to get suckered into this lack of volume, lack of momentum right now, because it can go either way really fast. In my opinion, not, not worth the risk to do anything except to wait for the big move. If it's going to come, let's wait for that. If it never comes, then we just sit on the sidelines and we keep waiting. And quite frankly, the market that we're better off being on the sidelines. Too often, if you're trying to scout the market and you're trying to trade under these conditions and in these markets, and you're getting in and you, you make four or five points out of a trade, the risk is not worth four or five points. Really not worth that. So I want to make sure you guys understand, some of you guys who will look at these conditions and say, man, you know, I, I got to do something. I'm going to trade and I'm going to take four or five points out of a trade. I really never get in a trade to try to make four or five points. I'll close trades with four or five points when the conditions are changing and they're not favorable as, as I've always said, they're not in the conditions that I initially got in, which I'm always looking to try to make 10 points out of a trade. I'll settle for seven to eight, nine, 10, you know, anywhere in that area. But always my first goal is if I get in a trade, I've got to try to, My first goal is going to be to make 10. So you know, you got to make sure if you're getting in, you're not getting in because your goal is to make four or five points. That's not a good business. That's not a good business decision to take a trade. So I want to make sure you guys understand that if you're getting in these kind of market conditions to try to pull out four or five points, it's a bad risk in my opinion. Because a lot of times you'll get in these and make four or five points, you'll do it two or three times, and then all of a sudden the market does make a big move. And if you get caught, not only do you lose the four or five points you made, but you'll lose, in many instances, you'll lose everything, the two or three trades you took. And like I said, it's, in my opinion, it's not a good risk-reward ratio.